Good morning, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Ben Deguara and I'm just going to walk around today with the 2013 FG G6 Falcon. So I just wanted to run through a few little things here with the car. Um, and just show you overall presentation of this vehicle, as you can see, has been very well kept and, and is in great condition. We do have here the headlight protectors. The previous owners have put the headlight protectors on this vehicle. As you can see running over the vehicle, you can see that there's very, 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 very minor stone chips on the front of the vehicle, but they, it has been kept very well. As we go down the, the driver's side of this vehicle, just looking over the, um, the wheels and, and the, the side of the vehicle, you can see there that it has got, there's a couple of tiny little scuffs on the wheels, but has overall kept very well. We just go down the side here, with the G6E, we do have all your trimmings. So you've got all your chrome trim, um, color-coded mirrors as well. So that is a signature of the Falcon G6E. Just one thing I do would like to, to show you guys, if we just have a look here, um, overall size of the vehicle. So I'm just gonna sit in the front, set myself up to where I would normally sit. We do have electronic seating in the G6E as well. So normal seating position, I've got that set. I'll just jump in the back, just so you can see how much actual physical leg room there is in this vehicle. Now I'm six foot one, so I'm sitting in the back and as you can see there, there's about three or four inches of actual knee space. So the overall size of the G6E in the car is quite large. Walking around to the back of the vehicle. Going around to the back. As you can see here, you have got the reverse sensors on the car as well. So when you do go into those small little car parks, you have got the room and the ability to be able to park the car and not worry about things behind you. So that display will show up on the dash as well. And you have got the reverse camera. So that reverse camera, alongside the the reverse sensors will make that parking very very simple for you just opening up the boot as we can see wow what a large boot space you have got so you have got the well plus you have got um, you have got the the deep boot so you can go to shopping put all your shopping groceries and everything in there and and do what you need to do Walking around onto the passenger side, so just checking out the wheels on this side. As you can see, there is a couple of little scuff marks on this on the on this side, um, but nothing too major. Checking the tread on the vehicle as well. The tyres are as new, so you can see that value for money that you're getting in this car is 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 very good. Down the passenger side, scratches marks. It, it is quite clean. There is no major, major scratches that I can see from this presentation. It's, it presents very, very well. Moving along and just the driver, the driver side, uh, the passenger side front, you can see that there is quite a few scratches on that wheel. Look, that's probably the major wheel that does cop the scratches, but look, we're not trying to hide anything here at Berwick Mitsubishi. We are showing you and presenting the car as it is. Okay, and we're just gonna jump under the bonnet now, the, um, the powerhouse. So look, this is a very reliable forward motor that they have used quite a lot in their, in their range. Look, it's a six cylinder, four liter, putting out 195 kilowatts with 391 Newton meters of torque. Um, it is a six speed automatic. So the fuel consumption for this car is 9.9 .9 liters per 100 Ks, um, 68 liter tank with a range of around six 187 kilometers. So very, very reliable motor. They have used quite a lot in their in their um, in their range and their production and is is got a lot of power and a lot of torque. Okay, and we're just jumping inside the cabin now of the um, of this FG G6. So I just want to run through. So you've got here the, the mirrors, um, the ease and ability of being able to adjust your mirrors on the fly. So being able to, to, to do it saves you having to take your, your eyes off the road. As we scan across here, being a, um, being a forward, your indicators are on the right hand side. 
plus your wipers are over here on the left hand side. You have got auto headlights in, in this vehicle, plus then you've got just your normal headlights. Going over to the steering wheel, as you can see here, the steering wheel, quite a sporty style steering wheel. Um, very, very nice firm steering wheel to, to, to hold. Plus you've got all your buttons along here, the ease of being able to drive on the road and change through. So you've got cruise control, plus then you've got your volume controls for your stereo system as well. Looking at the instrument cluster, so we're just looking at the dash. They're very, very simple and easy to read. As you can see, the, the kilometers are, are very easy and simple to, to read. Plus then you've got your range for your, um, your fuels, how much fuel you've got left, and your speedo actually comes up as a digital read as well. Going over into the center here, we have got your touchscreen navigation system plus your infotainment system. Now when we go into the navigation system, so we can just go in here, simply type in where we want to go. So we're out in Berwick, so we'll type in Berwick. As you can see there, it automatically populates where it thinks you're trying to, to go to. We go into Berwick and we're in Street Kangan Drive, so let's just go in there. And we just type in Kangan Drive. There it is. So that will automatically populate where it wants to go. So now that is actually just picked up where we're located and where it's to, to find our address. So all we need to do is click next and it'll actually start finding where we are. Going down onto the the system that we've got here. So we've got your dual zone climate control. So passenger and driver side. So for the passengers inside that like the a bit warmer, you can actually set that temperature that little tiny bit hotter. Plus the, the driver, if the driver gets a little bit hot, they can turn their, their temperature right down. You've got down here as well, you've got your, you have got your sound as well so you've got your stereo so we can go through here media we can go through okay, fm well, as well as you can see there that just turns the radio stations on plus we can go into the menu and adjust your sound equalizer bass mid and treble as well and your balance and fade between driver side and passenger you can adjust through your stations as well all through the touch of a button here but if we have a look back over on the steering wheel it does correlate with what we see on the steering wheel as well six speed auto as we said outside um, and i'm just going to go through in here we have got a usb as well so the car is really set up to make the drive as comfortable and as luxurious as possible um, and the auxiliary as well so you can plug your USBs and your um, iPods into that to play direct from there as well. We have got the service books in the car here. So we have got all your service books there. We have got the satellite navigation manual and we have got the servicing has been filled out in this vehicle as well five-star NCAP safety rated vehicle that comes along with Ford plus you do have with this car we have got six airbags throughout the vehicle as well to make that ride as safe and as comfortable as possible. There you have it a walk around of our 2013 FG G6 for a test drive please call 99070 555. Thank you.